Bubba, did you lose your toy? Hey, that's, brought that sucker out. that's why we're not supposed to take it outside. You know, we're supposed to leave it. What does Dale always tell you? Leave it. Leave it. Hey guys. So I um, I just wanted to do a little follow-up video on the Rishi. I know it's been a couple days since I said anything about it. Um, some of you guys saw that video and had no idea what was going on. He found it. Really? Yeah. Uh, and some of you guys uh, noticed that I left a note in the description. So if you guys didn't see the video, uh, you can go check it out. Um, if you look in the description, there's very detailed instructions of what I'm doing. Uh, at least a description of what I'm doing. Um, anyway, so I'm going to tell you what's going on right now. Uh, I believe that we made 10 samples. We might have made 9. I only have 9 tubs in there, but I might have... Um, I might have thrown one out for contamination. Anyways, out of the 10 containers, I'm pretty sure we did 10. Uh, only two of them are not contaminated. So uh, that's not very good, but um, the reason why is because I was not inside of my air box. So I wasn't able to film it for you guys unless I did it out in the open. So I just took the risk. Fortunately, I have two good samples. So I'm gonna make some more agar tonight. And I'm going to transfer those samples into some new tubs, and that will just give me a better chance of survival. I, um, I've been looking for this mushroom for about two years, and uh, I finally found it. Crazy enough, it was only about 15 feet from my front door. So um, it was growing in my driveway, and uh, my driveway's gravel, and it actually grows on wood. But there was like a little bitty wood chip just stuck in the gravel, and that's what it grew on. So cool enough uh, how I found it um, like I said I've been looking for it for like two years and that's where it popped up so it's pretty cool I was actually about to order the species online just uh, order the strain so I could start growing some but I really wanted to find my own and cultivate it myself so uh, that's basically what's going on and uh, the next step I wanted to tell you guys the next step well the next step is I'm going to be transferring it to more agar dishes. So agar is the little petri dishes I was using. Uh, it's just a little homemade petri dish, nothing scientific. But um, basically what I did was put agar agar in there. And agar agar is like a gelatin. It's often used in like Asian recipes, like desserts and stuff like that. But it's highly nutritious. And the uh, mushroom mycelium is able to grow on that. So basically what I did was I cut the reishi in half. I took a small sample of the tissue from the inside of the mushroom. The reason I did the inside is because the outside has contamination, but the inside's never been exposed to anything. So I cut the reishi open, I took a small sample from the inside of the mushroom, just the tissue, transferred it over into the agar. Basically that mushroom tries to recreate itself and the mycelium starts to grow out. Now this mushroom actually grows on wood like I mentioned, so the next step is I'm going to transfer that agar to wood chips. So I've got a friend in town, he's a woodworker, and he's been saving all of his wood chips for me and um, for this reason. So now I've got a couple bags of wood chips. What I'm gonna do is I will put the agar with the reishi mycelium on it into the wood chips, okay? And then that mycelium will grow out in those wood chips and then we'll be able to grow some reishi. So that's the whole process. I know that um, I know the videos were kind of weird. I was just feeling kind of creative and wanted to do something a little different. Uh, I'm not a master at mycology. I'm definitely not someone that should be teaching. I know enough to do it, but not enough to teach someone to do it. So that was the reason that I didn't uh, talk a lot in the video because I didn't want to be the guy explaining it. So uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I know some of you guys really enjoyed it. Some of you guys had no idea what was going on, but if you're interested and want to, you can go back and look at the description and. Uh, That'll explain a little better. So I appreciate you guys watching, and I promise to update you as soon as we get to the next step, which will be wood chips. Have a good night, guys.